Ladies and gentlemen, the Pittsburgh Steelers training camp is officially underway. The Pittsburgh Steelers are finally back at Latrobe. They are finally back at St. Vincent College. And training camp is underway and thus the football season. I can clearly say confidently that football is back. And thank God. Thank God, man. It's been a long wait. And within the next couple of days, and pretty much throughout the week, we'll be making uh, videos about training camp battles, which is always anticipate, anticipated uh, around training camp, especially when it comes to the Pittsburgh Steelers this year. And we're going to start off with, obviously, the most must-see aspect of the entire preseason for the Steelers is the quarterback position, the quarterback training battle. For the first time in almost two decades, basically. Yep, as you guys know, and I hate to sound like a broken record here, but it is a new era. It is a new time in Pittsburgh when it comes to the quarterback position. Ben Roethlisberger retired. He'll be in Canada in about five years. And thus, now we are looking at the future. We are looking at a, a new era. And when it comes to the new era, that begs the question heading into training camp and the regular season, who is going to be the Steelers quarterback number one? Who's going to be the starting quarterback come week one? Is it going to be the homegrown talent, the the hometown face in Kenny Pickett? Or is it going to be the newly acquired free agent out of Buffalo, former first-round pick himself, Number 10 himself, Mitchell Trubisky. Is it going to be Mitchburg, or is it going to be Kenny Pickett continuing to reign supreme in his time in Pittsburgh following one hell of a final year at the University of Pittsburgh? Now he goes right next door, and I know we technically have to say it, so we will. We'll even include Mason Rudolph. He is pretty much the odd man out here, if I'm going to be completely honest. Now he is the longest tendered Quarterback currently on the Steelers roster, as he's been with us, he's he, for four years. He's coming to his fifth year, right? And that is basically to me and Danny the only saving grace for Mason Rudolph. We don't think he's going to be the Week One starter. No, I, but that, then again, I'm not going to count him out in some weird fashion for some reason. I'm not going to count him out of that discussion. Well, but, don't, but I don't think he's going to win the competition. No, I don't either. But the only reason why we bring that up is because. A part of me thinks, and this is just an early projection, this is an early prediction, I could be dead wrong. What we shall see come training camp and preseason. Um, I do think Mason Rudolph very well could be the number two quarterback come week one for the depth chart. I think he could be the primary backup. But if he's the number two, then who's number one? Who is number one? And the main focus is clearly, like we mentioned, Mitchell Trubisky and Kenny Pickett. Now, Trubisky has had a... A crazy career so far in the NFL. Yeah, to say the least. Uh, I mean, he was a second overall pick with the Chicago Bears. And he's had quite a journey there. He's had his ups, definitely his downs. But I don't think all the downs were necessarily his fault. No. Considering what he had to deal with with Chicago, concerning who his head coach was, concerning the weapons surrounding Mitchell Trubisky. And he's had some success there, to a degree. I mean, he's, he's taken and he's led to the, the, the Chicago Bears to two playoff performances, two playoff appearances. I don't know how. I'll give Mitchell Trubisky that. Like, it's, it's crazy to think, considering this is the Chicago Bears we're talking about right. here. And honestly, you could make the argument, obviously, he leaned a lot on the defense. He leaned a lot on some of the talent he had around him, guys like David Montgomery and Allen Robinson and, 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 and company, right? But when you look at this Steelers team, he arguably, on paper— has a better overall offense. Yes. And hopefully a, a, a much better offensive coordinator in Matt Canada. He's another discussion. We made a whole video about that. But uh, one thing that will definitely help Trubisky in this turnaround is obviously the head coach, Coach T. He has a reputation for players wanting to play for Coach T. Yeah. Which is a great thing. And I said it in fragrancy. I continue to say it because just based on history, Pittsburgh is the best place for second chances. The list goes endless, honestly. And Trubisky could be another name in that category because quarterback is wide open. It's, it's a new time in Pittsburgh. And a former first-round guy who sat under Josh Allen and Brian DeBall in Buffalo last year. Yeah. After being the starter for four years, up and down, in Chicago, what could he bring to the table after sitting a whole year? 
and then finding his way to Pittsburgh in an open spot at quarterback. And with the talent surrounding him, guys like Deontay Johnson, Pat Farmy, if Najee Hamas, just to name a couple. Right. The offensive line being a, a, a bit re, uh, revamped. Right. Trubisky's and of, got the surround system for the most part. Right, and of course, we all know what this defense is capable of when it is fully healthy. And Trubisky, when he's on the field, he's like I said, he has his up and he has his downs, but he's mobile, he can get out the pocket. His, I don't deny his arm strength no. whatsoever. I his, think I think it's pretty good. His accuracy is definitely, uh, that, that definitely a little worrisome. That's definitely going to need some working on, right. for sure. But that's what we're so excited for come training camp is to see his progression as a player. Not just to see what what we have in store for the Steelers in terms of a future aspect, but to see what Mitch, as a player, sitting under a year, what he has developed, what he could bring to the table. What he has improved in his game on the football And game. overall, what the quarterback position for this team could look like after almost two decades of Ben Roethlisberger. Exactly. You know, there's been discussions in the past that, yeah, with Ben gone now, what path is the Steelers going to go down? Is it going to be, you know, what we went through when we had uh, Bradshaw and he left and we went through two decades of mediocrity at quarterback? Or is it going to be, you know, something different? Is it is it going to be a, a much easier transition compared to Bradshaw? Yeah. And the reason why I bring up the whole transition aspect is because the Steelers obviously drafted the quarterback in the first round this year. They wasted no time in trying to find a replacement. And that guy is potentially Kenny Pickett out of University of Pittsburgh. And, you know, Pickett being drafted by Pittsburgh made all the sense in the world just because he was the guy next door. And that speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. Five years under Pittsburgh, they seen this guy. They know him better than any other quarterback this past draft class. He was there on the board. They're going to take the homegrown guy. Yep. And I'm not going to count Pickett out whatsoever in this quarterback battle. Because we still don't know what to expect from Trubisky. I'm going to keep my expectations pretty standard and my optimism very similar. Still excited, but, you know, I'm going to keep my... Uh, I'm yeah, not, I'm not going to... We don't know what to expect from Mitchell Trubisky. Right. The and guy he, sat out for a year. Right, and, and same thing for Pickett because a rookie transitioning to the NFL. Very rare do you see a, a first-round quarterback just burst onto the scene. It's rare. Yeah. We've seen it recently in the league, but it's rare... In their rookie year. Mm -hmm. So I'm not expecting immediate success or a, an immediate great transition for Pickett. That would be great, but I'm not going to expect it. In fact, I don't even know if he'll play this year. And it's something that when it comes to Pickett potentially being the week one starter, do the Steelers rush that development? Right. I don't know if it's something that they honestly should do. No, because, one, they rarely rush rookies. The only reason they had to last year is because they literally had to. They had no choice. Najee, Pat, Dan Moore. Kendra they, Green. They had zero choice. They had zero This year, they, they do have a choice. Now, it all depends on quarterback performance. If Pickett comes out slinging and just, just blows out the water and does better than Chibisky, he could very well be the week one starter. That's a possibility. That could very well happen. But... I do think, a part of me does think that Trubisky will be the week one starter and Pickett will sit and potentially be the number three. If not, Hivero has a great chance of being the number two. But if he's the number three, there should be no, no panic whatsoever. No. The Steelers are going to have him develop. They're going to have him learn. They're going to have him understand the playbook, understand the players, understand the coaches. Right. They're, That's something that Pickett could very well benefit from a lot. Right. If, if Pickett is ultimately the, the, the third stringer at quarterback on the depth chart, that is no worry. That's just them trying to ease him into the system, ease him into the league, and ease his transition. And it's, it's something that we did with Ben Roethlisberger, remember, when we had Tommy Maddox and Charlie Batch right. back in 2004. We didn't rush Ben. The only time Ben had to start was because everybody got hurt. Right. So... I mean, and, and that brings up the discussion is if Pickett is the number three or number two, when does he see time on the field? Or does he see time on the field this year? Do we see our first-round pick play this does year? Does he redshirt his rookie year? I know he's 24 years old. Do you want to put a 25-year-old second-year quarterback as the starter next year, or do you want to see him get some time as he's a rookie and 24 years old? I mean, that's a, that's a discussion in itself. Yes, it and is. that has yet to be seen because we don't know how the quarterback battle is going to go. We're only going to know if what we hear, what we see from training camp, what we see and hear from preseason, and just who's about determined, who's about ready, who's 
proven to be the week one starter come week one of the regular season. And I can't wait because training camp is here and soon we'll be able to actually watch these guys and see what these two are capable of. We will see. It's, it's exciting. It's a new era. It's a new start for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And it's something that me and Danny are not quite conditioned to yet. We're still learning, you know, the, the, the life after Ben. Yes. All, all, we known, all we have known at quarterback has been Ben. You're right. So this is entirely new for us, but that's why I'm so eager and so excited to see what's going to happen at quarterback because yeah. this is new. And I want to see what the, what the future will look like. And we shall see very shortly. Let us know your guys' thoughts down below, man. Who do you think will be the week one starter? How do you think the training camp battle is going to go? I'm excited. It should be very fun to watch. I'm going to watch very closely just to try to, you know, get every little detail and understand every little detail I can about this battle because I'm eager I'm eager to know what our direction is going to be, especially if, when it comes to the offense. And hey, hey, no matter what, we're going to enjoy every single second of it. Yes, we are. So let us know your guys' thoughts down below. Is it going to be Mitchburg or is it going to be Pickett, man? Let us know your guys' thoughts. See you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Peace!